interested in what we can do to make firefighters safer. My husband is also in the fire brigade. Now there was a, an incident one day where someone on his fire engine had been really badly burnt. Going to that fire was probably the longest four minutes and 34 seconds of my life. It wasn't my husband that was injured, but actually someone else had some really bad news. And that really, from a really personal level, was one of the driving forces behind me being interested in how we make decisions on the fire ground, in particular, how we make risk critical decisions. We got them to go through various scenarios, incidents presented in VR. They still reacted quickly, um, but they were using these controls to evaluate the alternative options that were available to them. Every element of that response benefits as a consequence of this slightly different approach to the decision making on the incident ground, which can only make the fire sector more effective, more efficient and safer. It was only because of my dual role as both a, a, a psychologist and a researcher and a, an operational fire officer that we were able to do that. So actually what we were able to do was incredibly unique. We wanted to introduce a new method that would allow us to gather that very empirical evidence. What we decided to do was to use GoPro cameras fixed to the Instant Commander's helmet. So rather than mimicking something that was going on in the real world, we were actually out there with the, uh, the people on the ground for whom it mattered. And that gave us a really, really rich tapestry of data that we were able to use. There had been very little direct study of how they actually do perform at incidents, so no one really knew how their problem solving and decision making developed over the course of an incident. We never had the opportunity to see again what you saw at that particular moment in time and to be encouraged to think, given what you now know, would you do it any differently? They were able to demonstrate that decisions were being made on the basis of experience of similar incidents. And the reality is that no two incidents are exactly the same. What we were able to do was to, probably for the first time, get a good handle on how people are making decisions, where the decisions they're making are potentially um, life-determining. This was a real step forward for us as the fire sector to say, let's gather some real empirical research and we'll use that as a fundamental basis for our policies. It was that knowledge of the sort of thing that goes on at an incident, coupled with her academic qualifications, which brought about, I guess, the success that we have had with the project. From a kind of academic perspective, it's an interesting process to be involved with because it's not the sort of thing that we usually do. We were moving ahead of best practice and moving into the realms of research and innovation. And that's the whole reason that we do this work, right? Why wouldn't you want to focus your efforts on finding the answers to the questions that would have the biggest impact?